Good afternoon everyone, I am Dr. Satya Prasad, MDD of Clinical Pharmacologist and today I am going to talk on Ustekinuma. We know that Ustekinuma is a human IgG1K monoclonal antibody. Coming to the mechanism action, it is a monoclonal antibody that binds with specificity to the P40 protein subunit used by both the interleukin 12 and interleukin 23 cytokines in in vitro models Ustekinumab was shown to disrupt interleukin 12 and interleukin 23 mediated signaling and cytokine cascades by disrupting the interaction of these cytokines with a shared cell surface receptor chain interleukin 12 R beta 1. Coming to the availability, it is available as injection 45 mg oblique 0.5 ml or 90 mg oblique ml solution in a single dose pre-filled syringe injection 45 mg per 0.5 ml in a single dose vial injection 130 mg per 26 ml that is 5 mg per ml solution in a single dose vial come to the dose in plexoriasis uh, if the patient is 100 kg or less then 45 mg subcutaneous initially and 4 weeks later then 45 mg subcutaneous every 12 weeks. If the patient is more than 100 kg then 90 mg subcutaneous initially and 4 weeks later then 90 mg subcutaneous every 12 weeks. In case of psoriatic arthritis 45 mg subcutaneous initially and 4 weeks uh, later 45 mg subcutaneous every 12 weeks then uh, etc according to the guideline coming to the pharmacokinetic half life is uh, half life is long half life uh, and uh, elimination half life range from 14.9 plus minus 4.6 days to 45.6 plus minus 80.2 days and it is degraded into small peptides and amino acids via catabolic pathways in the same manner as endogenous uh, IgG. Coming to the indications, it is indicated in case of psoriasis, psoriatic arthritis, and Crohn's disease. Coming to the contraindications, those patients who are hypersensitive to ustekinumab, uh, we should not use in these patients, and also uh, any hypersensitive to any excipients, then we should not use this uh, drug in these cases. Then warnings and precautions. In case of infections, malignancies, hypersensitivity reactions, e immunizations, uh, immunosuppressive agents, and uh, reversible posterior leukoencephalopathy syndrome, these are the warnings and precautions. And coming to the adverse reactions, the adverse reactions are reversible posterior leukoencephalopathy syndrome, nasopharyngitis, volovaginal candidacy, mycotic infection, uh, bronchitis, uh, pruritus. Urinary tract infection, in, injection site, erythema, sinusitis, uh, malignancy and hypersensitivity reactions, vomiting, etc. So, these drugs, this drug is having some adverse reactions. So, the drug to be used according to the guideline and with caution. Thank you very much.